Welcome to this segment where we honor the diversity of people in our community, people like us. I'm joined by Dr. Howard Rice, founder of the Rice Medical Group in Mountain View, California. Dr. Rice, thank you for taking the time to come with us this evening and uh, talk about specifically about HIV. You are the founder of the Rice Medical Foundation, which has been in uh, Mountain View for how long now? I've been in practice uh, for seven years now, Roberta. Okay. I, I trained at Stanford uh, for internal medicine and also fellowship in infectious diseases, and then went into private practice. So that explains your um, association with HIV, and uh, you see a great um, many people with HIV and AIDS. Yes, I do. Uh, my, f my clinic also takes care of uh, primary care for LGBT community, okay. but I do have a fair number of HIV uh, patients. Back in the 80s and the early 90s, this was quite something that devastated our community. Personally, I lost a lot of, uh, of, of friends and acquaintances to this. But a lot of things have changed, including um, the, um, uh, the different types of medications available now. Talk to us about what's happening now. Back in the mid-80s and, and 90s, we had relatively few drugs that didn't work very well. Mm -hmm. Everyone remembers AZT and yeah. many side effects. And in the last 10 years, uh, treatment's really been revolutionized. Uh, we have many treatments that are once a day, a few pills, or even one pill, um, and even more better options in the future. So the, the vast majority of patients who are diagnosed now uh, can really get uh, to undetectable virus levels and, uh, and stable high T cells. That's wonderful that to know that you don't have to take a whole cocktail of uh, medications that now, and you were talking earlier when we were off camera about... Yeah, um, yeah, there's some excitement yeah, about tell a us new... about that. There's some excitement about a new uh, four-drug combination yes. pill. It's nicknamed the quad pill. It's still in phase yeah. three trials, but it's expected to be released sometime in the next year or so. It contains a new integrase inhibitor called Elvitegravir, a new booster drug called Cobacistat, and then two drugs that have already been approved, Entracitabine and Tenofovir. And those four drugs are combined into one pill that can be taken once a day. That's uh, exciting. With relatively few side effects. Yes. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be a pill for everyone, but for many okay. people it will be an option. Well, that's what I'm getting at is that there's this option now available. And uh, as I said, we were hearing that the, the, the latest and greatest thing was a, a cocktail, which was quite a variety of different medications that a patient would take. But then we were worried also about side effects. Is that right? Yes. Uh, everyone's always worried about side effects. And the, sure. and the great thing that's really happened uh, with HIV is, is that uh, uh, patients who, who do get infected um, uh, have a great uh, expectation to live a long, healthy life ah. if they're diagnosed early ah. and, and get into treatment. Okay. okay. So that's the key thing is to get diagnosed early. Get diagnosed early. Uh, uh, get tested. There's still some concern that uh, the people who are most at risk are not getting access to good testing for a variety of reasons. Uh, but many studies have shown recently that if uh, someone gets, gets uh, diagnosed early and treated when their T cells are still high, uh, that they can do very well and maybe live as long as 50 years. Uh, and that's pretty much a normal life expectancy. Yeah, I think so. I uh, think so. We can keep people from dying of HIV if they get into treatment. Um, okay. uh, now, quality of life is still some concern and side effects, and we're still looking into all of that. Well, that's kind of normal in everyday living as well. But now then, quality of life and um, getting de uh, detected early, these are very important. So getting detected early, can you tell us a little bit more about that? What can, what can we do to tell the community to get tested right away? Yes, um, uh, the tests have, have, have changed also, Roberta. We now have a, a, an oral swab that can be hey. done on site, either in the field or, or a clinic, with results in as little as 20 minutes. Wow. So you don't even have to have a blood stick uh, these days. And um, I encourage everyone who's sexually active to get tested at least once, and for people who continue at risk, uh, every six months. Isn't it something of a, a myth in, in, in society now that HIV and AIDS is not as a big of a concern as it was in the past? Uh, I, I don't know if that's, that's a myth or not. We certainly can, can manage HIV. Okay. We, we've turned it into a chronic, manageable disease. But the unfortunate thing is that most people, or many people, uh, are presenting late. They're not getting diagnosed early, and they, they come in with an illness. And, um, and then, of course, their quality of life is lower, sure. and they have to deal with all of those problems. Yeah. So the key is to get diagnosed early and get treated early. And how about prevention? Well, prevention, of course, is primary. Sure. You know, and, and we can't uh, um, encourage that enough. Okay. So safe sex. So we should also encourage uh, people who are sexually active to practice safe sex. Of course. Okay. And that's also in the heterosexual community. 
Yes, uh, although HIV did start out in the United States as a, more of a, a gay-associated disease, in the world that's not true. It's mostly heterosexual in Africa and other large countries. Yeah, and the yeah. epidemic in the U.S. has diversified into uh, people of color, women, yes. African-American, Latino. Mm. And um, it isn't just a gay disease, of course. Okay, so we can, um, what can we look for in a little bit in the, more of the future besides um, um, these newer medications? On, uh, on the horizon, of course, uh, uh, we're looking to immune-based uh, uh, therapies. There, I think they're still quite a ways off. There's still lots of interest in vaccines. Again, they haven't, they haven't been as, as uh, successful as we'd like. So the mainstay of treatment is still uh, antiretroviral medication. Well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing this information with us. This is things that we really want our community to be aware of, so we appreciate that you being with us today. For more information, check out the website at drice.com.